Okay, all right, we are live. I always gets a little confusing because a, <clears throat> a picture, a still picture pops up of me um, on the Zoom. So I, I've been doing a lot of impromptu lives because a lot of stuff is just coming to me and I wanna write it and do posts in the group. But I think a lot of times videos are much more effective and powerful. Um, and, People don't always have a lot of time to go through and read the whole article. And I do understand that because I feel that way too. So something happened today and it just made this huge connection of something that um, I'm planning and sharing with you, which is a 40 day meditation challenge coming up on November 11th that I'm gonna invite many of you to who've expressed interest in adding meditation um, and yoga to your practice. But this was the connection I made today. So um, you guys all, many of you know, kind of been tuned in is that I've moved and I've, I've uh, moved up to Northern California um, and I'm in a very wooded area. So with that is always the challenges of internet connections. And so we've got, um, we picked the best internet company. We got the best internet package. And then uh, this weekend when I was teaching live and I, when I was on the call with a client, it kept dropping, which that really never happened before. It never happened when I was in a mountainous area and we had some of those challenges. So the internet company came out and they came out twice. And what they discovered was that um, the people next door to me had this tremendously huge bandwidth. I'm not gonna get that technical, but I learned a bunch of stuff. And our signal is really, really strong but we are on their channel and they are encompassing us. And there's a lot of other interferences with the Wi-Fi. And those of you who are tech savvy know that, you know, if you hardwire it in, you know, you solve a lot of those problems. Um, but also I should have the capability to pick up the signal really, really well. But there's a lot of other interferences and there's a lot of other others on the channel. So they're switching me to a different channel. There's where my connection went off with meditation. So what we are ultimately doing in meditation is we are switching the channel, which means switching the frequency. You know, you hear about megahertz, what's the megahertz of your internet channel, every single thought, every single emotion has its own particular frequency. Um, this is all very, uh, you can, it's, you can um, see it very well. There's many electromagnetic um, uh, Equipment. <laughs> I'm losing my. I'm losing my understanding of like the technology with when you shift over. So you can register it with the human um, responses. You can register what their frequencies are at and what their emotions, what the frequencies. And there's it's a band, right? And the lower frequencies are those anger, those um, fear, and then it kind of moves up to um, well, fear and then anger. Um, and then it moves up to this intensity, this resentment, this anxiety kind of comes up in the frequency. So each one of those has a different frequency. In meditation, we are specifically changing those frequencies. So not other are we coming up, we're not just coming up from anger to now let's feel some anxiety. We're moving it all the way up to the elevated frequencies. Those that are experiencing the frequency of joy, that's an elevated frequency, the experience of contentment, happiness elevated frequency. They all have their very own. And that's exactly what we do in meditation. Now there are different times during the day when it's the optimum amount of like there's the big window, let's say the bandwidth is huge for you to get in onto that frequency and make the most effective use of your meditation. There's different times of the year, right? We talk about the solstices and the equinoxes. Um, and so we are moving toward the winter solstice. And so that 40 day period moving up to the winter solstice and then the 40 day period after, I mean, it's this whole entire amplification. So I invite you to join me with the challenge. I'm gonna start it on November 11th and you will get a specific invite through the group. And I hope this gives you a whole window and, and an urgency of why it is so important to have a meditative practice. Now more than ever, there is so much um, 
distraction. There's so many other frequencies out there that get you distracted. That's why we become distracted. That's why we get stuck on a particular, let's say, channel, a fear channel, an anger channel, an overwhelm channel, an anxiety channel. And we want to go into our channels that have happiness and joy and love and excitement and creativity and focus and clarity, right? Those are the channels that we want to be in, the clear channels. So join me, look for that invite. All right, I'll see you soon. Have a great day.